All right, we're going to get some practice with conversions. Um, we'll just jump right in, uh, starting off with an easy example in the Met in the English system, converting 3.06 inches to feet. All right, so we need to know how many inches are in a foot. There are 12 inches per foot, and so. We arrange this so that the inches will cancel, inches on top, inches on bottom, um, and we do a little uh, math, 3.06, let's get this on here, divided by 12, and we get 0.255 feet. Okay, next. 6.80 grams to kilograms, right? So in each of these, we want a, um, a conversion between those units. 6.80 grams times how many grams per kilogram? We're gonna have grams on the bottom and kilograms on top. There are a thousand grams per kilogram, right? Now, of course, you can put this um, another way if you prefer. You could say 10 to the minus 3 or 0 0.001 kilograms is 1 gram. All right. Mathematically, that will come out to be the same thing. When we divide this by 1,000, we don't need a calculator for this one. What happens to the decimal? We're dividing. This is 10 to the third. We divide, and so we're uh, subtracting the exponent or it moves the decimal place to the left three places. So this will end up being 0 0.00680 okay? kilograms. All right, next, milliliters to liters, 88.300. Remember, these zeros after the decimal place, um, trailing zeros after the decimal place are significant. So we have five significant figures, and just like here, we kept those three significant figures there. The leading zero is not significant. We want to do the same here, keeping uh, the number of significant figures the same. Okay, so 88.300 milliliters, and how many milliliters per liter? milli um, is a thousandth of a liter, okay? So I'm gonna write this the other way just to uh, show you both ways. We can say 0 0.001 liters is one milliliter, okay? So however you wanna look at that, as long as those units cancel, it'll be fine. Because what is this happening? What's gonna happen here? It's 10 to the minus three. So you're multiplying by 10 to the minus three, or dividing by 10 to the 3. Either way, you have the same effect. It's moving the decimal place three places to the left. Okay, now are we going to stop here? No. These zeros are significant, so we need to put them on in the end. Okay, keeping our five significant figures. Okay, let's look at this one. Here's uh, 1.30 times 10 to the minus 8th meters. We want to convert that to nanometers. All right. Now, what is a nanometer? Um, the nanometer is uh, 10 to the minus 9th meters. Okay. So we could say 1 nanometer is 10 to the minus ninth meters, okay? Again, just as before, I could have said there are 10 to the ninth nanometers in one meter. Either way, it'll give us the same thing. Um, but here we have a negative eight, and here we're dividing, so we're gonna subtract a negative nine. We're subtracting a negative, that means we're adding nine to the negative eight, and that gives us a positive one. Now, we don't have to write this in scientific notation. 
10 to the positive 1 is 10, which means we're going to move the decimal one place. Okay? And then don't forget about our um, last significant figure there. So this would be 13 uh, nanometers. Okay. Okay, and here we have 81 kilometers, and we're converting that to megameters. All right. That one's not quite so common, but I uh, thought I'd throw it in just for kicks and giggles. All right, so 8,100 kilometers. So how many kilometers in a megameter? All right, now uh, maybe you don't know that offhand, but you might or you should remember um, that kilo is 10 to the third, and mega, that's the next step up, and the next factor of 3, uh, or 10 to the six okay so three powers of ten greater from kilo to mega so that's the key is that there's a difference of ten to the third between those two units all right so what we can say is in uh, in one mega meter there is uh, ten to the third kilo Meters. There are 10 to the third kilometers um, in one megameter, right? Because this difference is 10 to the third. Okay? Now, um, we could also just say there are, um, yeah, well, let's just leave it like that. All right, so kilometers cancels or kilometers cancel. And we're dividing by 10 to the third. All right? Dividing means we're going to subtract the exponent. And if we have a negative 3, that means we're going left. All right? So this will be 8.1. Now what about these zeros? Okay, They're trailing zeros, but this time they are before the decimal place. All right? Which means they are not significant, so we need not show them here. So that'll just be 8.1 megameters. All right. Now this time we're going from milligrams to, remember this unit, the microgram. Okay. Uh, that's the Greek letter mu. And um, <clears throat> so if we write this out, 0 0.0031 milligrams and we need to know how many milligrams are in a microgram, okay, or vice versa. And just like here, we can look at the difference, all right? Um, if we're not going to a main unit, like here we went from uh, 10 to the minus 9th, and then this is the main unit, so that's like 10 to the 0, okay? So all we had to look at was this one, and that's all we uh, we needed to put there. But when two of them, uh, they both have a prefix, then we can look at those prefixes and say, well, how far apart are those prefixes? Okay, so um, in this case, milli is 10 to the minus 3, micro is 10 to the minus 6. Okay, so what's the difference? another power of, uh, of a thousand, or, or rather um, uh, 10 to the third, okay, which is a thousand. Um, and which one is bigger? All right. If micrograms is 10 to the minus sixth, that's a smaller number, which means the microgram is smaller than the milligram. All right. So let's keep that in mind, and we'll have, we need milligrams on the bottom, uh, one milligram, okay, that's the bigger one, so we're going to have a thousand micrograms. Okay, that makes sense because uh, we have the bigger unit here, there's a thousand of these, a thousand times 10 to the minus 6 is 10 to the minus 3. So in one milligram, there's a thousand micrograms. Okay, so what's this going to do to the decimal place? It's on the top, 
you can think of this as 10 to the third. So we're moving the decimal place three places to the right. And this will be 3.1 micrograms.